Hi everyone, it's Miss Anne from Herrick District Library. Um, after I told the story of the clever little girl on the very rainy day last week, we had a few people asking how to fold the hats and the other props that we used in the story. So I made you a video. So hopefully you will be able to fold along and tell the story. And I'll even tell you the little surprise at the end. I hope you have fun. All right, everyone. So we are ready to start folding. I just have a regular piece of printer paper here. You can use any kind of paper, really. It just needs to be rectangular in shape. Um, doesn't need to be anything fancy. Our first fold, we are going to match up our two short ends. So we are folding in half this way. So we'll fold the short ends together. And we're going to give them a nice crease right there. And now we have our folded edge down here and we have our layered edge up here. We need our folded edge to be pointing away from our body. So we're going to turn it like that. And then we need to find about the middle of this folded edge. And I think the easiest way to do this is to take these two corners, these two top corners, and just line them up. And then over here, we're gonna just give it a little pinch just at the top. And that's just gonna make a mark so we can see where the middle is. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I think it's easier if you can see what your, uh, if you have a visual cue. So our next fold to make our rain hat, we are going to fold this top corner down. We're gonna start making kind of a triangle. Give that a good fold and a good crease. And then we're going to fold this other top corner down to meet it. There we go. We're almost finished with our rain hat. All we have to do still is make the brim. We're going to fold up the bottom of the hat to make the brim. Now there are two layers here. We're just folding up the top layer first. So fold that right up like this. And then we'll turn our hat over and fold up the remaining layer like this to match. And there we have our rain hat. How fun! I know that if you make um, if you make these with really really big paper, you can actually make hats that fit your head, which I think is kind of cool. Today we're just making a small one. Now next in our story, after the little girl played in the rain, she heard a fire engine and decided she wanted to become a fire chief to pretend to put out the fire. And so to make our rain hat into a fire engine hat, or fire, firefighter's hat, excuse me, we are going to open our rain hat and we're gonna kind of squash it flat the opposite way of how it's currently flat. And with these little tabs right here, these little flaps, we just want to tuck one of them underneath the other one. It doesn't make any difference which one goes where. They just need to have one tucked under the other one so it lays flat. And so we're going to keep squashing and keep squashing and keep squashing until we have a diamond or a square, depending on how you look at it. We're going to keep it pointed like this because our next fold to finish our firefighter's helmet is we're going to take just the top layer, just this one layer, and we're going to fold the point at the bottom to meet the point at the top. Give it a good crease there. And there we have our firefighter's helmet. It's a little longer in the back like a firefighter's helmet would be. And the front sort of looks like it has shield like a firefighter's helmet would have. Next in our story, our little girl saw the leaves floating down the street and decided she wanted to be the admiral, the boss of the boats. This next fold is very, very easy, friends. We're almost finished already. So we've got our folded up point here. We need to turn our firefighter's hat over so the back is facing up. And we're going to fold this bottom point up to the top point, just like we did when we made the firefighter's helmet. And that is our admiral's hat, our bicorn hat. Got some layers in there. Now, in the story, 
the water started getting deeper and running faster and faster and the little girl decided she would she might need a boat so to turn our admiral's hat into a boat friends we are going to again open it up and squash it flat the other way from how it was so now we have a smaller diamond line down the middle and this is one of my favorite parts of this whole story because I think this is kind of magical. If we gently pull these two sides, they will slide and we leave the middle alone. But if we keep pulling and flattening, just like magic, our hat turns into a boat. Now I have definitely noticed that sometimes this little middle triangle is bigger or smaller or a little bit wonky. Um, and it just depends on how I'm folding that day, but it doesn't make any difference to the story or the uh, surprise ending. So at this point, the little girl is riding in the rough waves and she's riding and riding, but she doesn't have paddles to steer and she crashes into a tree. So we need to break a little piece off of her boat, just a little piece right here at the side. And then she's being swept away again in the water and she runs into another tree tear another little piece off this is how we're going to get our surprise ending and then she's in the waves again and a wave washes over her boat and rolls it over and it scrapes the road along the bottom and tears a hole in the middle of her boat so what we need to do is we want to leave the sides of our boat alone we just want to tear out of this little middle triangle here kind of a scoop shape it's a little tricky to get in there Here we have our big hole in the bottom of our boat. And the little girl knows that it can't float with a big hole in the bottom. And the boat starts to sink and sink and sink. But the little girl knows that she's safe because, surprise ending, we're going to unfold this little flap here. This was the brim of our hat. And we're going to unfold this one here too, the other side of the brim. And we have these two little flaps in the middle that we can pull and spread out and the little girl was safe because she was wearing her life jacket isn't that fun thank you so much for folding along with me i hope that you enjoy practicing this